What if you could predict the future and be right? What if you could predict the future and be right? Would you have an advantage? Well, yeah, because there's hindsight and there's foresight. Hindsight only brings la lament. You know, should have bought Google 10 years ago, should have bought that stock, should have bought some Tesla stock a while back, should have never bought that house, should have never done this, should have done that. But you can't really change the past. However, you can change the future based on what you do today. And as board members, as leaders, we've got some big decisions we've got to make because there's so many things going on right now, so much uncertainty, probably more uncertainty than we've ever had before. So how do we navigate that? Well, that's why I'm here to try to help you to do just that. There's a way to be able to be more anticipatory. So anticipating disruptions before they disrupt, so we have a choice. Also anticipating problems before you have them so you can pre-solve them. How many times have you said, I knew that would happen? And I would say, well, then why did you let it? I just did a survey of 1,000 CEOs all over the world. I haven't published the results yet, but I'll give you the results right now. And the question was, what's the biggest problem you're facing? And once they had that identified, I said, could you have seen that ahead of time and pre-solved it? Or did it just come out of the blue? There was no way you could see it ahead of time. 92%, I'm going to repeat that, 92% said we could have seen it ahead of time. What does that tell me? That tells me that your biggest problems a year from now, you could probably see now and pre-solve them before you have them. That's being anticipatory. Or you can let them play out. You can anticipate problems, you can anticipate disruptions, and one other thing, you can anticipate new opportunities. So I'm going to talk about exactly how to do that right now.